Hiya guys! Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial, kind of romantic -y cuddles. Um, and yeah, it's going to be like a half up, half down kind of one. What I'm going to say is I'm going to put two videos up on the same day because I feel like the video that is done with the wet wipes and the no heat kind of thing doesn't look too good. So I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you two videos and this hair style is going to look so much better. So I have just washed my hair last night. So this is like proper clean hair. I used these two which is amazing shampoos. It is the Oz Botanics shampoo and conditioner. Um, I got these from Pound Shop and they are 400ml each. Amazing. So, got them, use them, wash my hair. Now what I'm just going to do is brush my hair through. And I should really use a heat protectant, but I don't have one, so I can't use one. And then I'm just going to take it from my ears and just above my ears and then tie it up. Just any old way, just now. And then I'm going to pull this half each side. I'm going to straighten it. And then I will curl. So I'm going to straighten first. Straighten, straighten. My hair's got so, so long. It's unbelievable. Oh yeah, you should use a heat protectant. I don't know if I just said that, but... I don't have one, so I'm not using one, but, you know. If you're really pernickety about protecting your hair, definitely use a heat protectant. Don't blame my video for you. Hair being all ooey. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it in every kind of like section of hair. I'm just going to grab these two bits. And I'm going to take a section of hair and I'm just going to twirl it round. I'm going to straighten it, well, curl it with my straighteners, I should say. So all I'm going to do is take it like this and then you're going to curl, going to curl away from your face. So that is like. I don't really know what way that is, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to pull it like so. And then pull it through. And you get wee curls like so. And then from the top, pull through. And get more curls and it's really annoying because my curls never stay curly curly and then I'm going to do another section oh no I've just it would be best to pull your hair like so ah for goodness sake my hair is so thick as well start at the top preferably and then Pull your hair through. Ta da! Oh, that didn't work very well. Let's do this bit again. Oh, do you know why that bit isn't working? Because it's not being cuddled. Okay, so it's alright to have like some sections longer than other bits. If it bothers you then just take the ends and do that. And it will curl it. And then I'm just going to fling that back. And then to these sections. Oh dear, oh dear. Just going to pull through here. I'm not so good at doing this side. Oh my god. 
Right, start again now. Neatly brush your hair. Make sure if you want it thin, then obviously you need to do a thin section. If you want it just whatever way, then just don't even bother about what way you do your sections. Just how many times I'm going to say section? I'll need section for the end of this video. Right, that's another wee cuddle. You can't see the cuddles when I do them, which is so annoying. I don't know if it's not because my hair is dark. I've seen other people do them when their hair is dark. Right, straighten it down and then straighten. <laughs> straighten me, bitch. I'm just going to put. Uh, don't worry if you do the same as me and can't get your straighteners to work right with it. Just totally relax yourself. Don't stress yourself out. Ah, just burnt my hand. There we go. Does anyone know why the only bottom bits of my hair are curling? If you're watching this video and thinking, oh my god, Anne, please do tell me because I'm genuinely don't have a clue what's going on in my life. Oh, I've just twirled it the wrong way. It should have been that way, right? Oh dear. So basically, this is my curly bits. I'm going to take another section of hair down. Just brush it through and do the same. Okay, so it doesn't really matter like how much hair you cut over and over again. Just make sure you're doing bits. Now it's okay to miss bits out and have straight bits and have not so straight bits. Um, just whatever way you want to do it. I'm just doing it like this. Then cut out. I think it's because my hair is so long it doesn't look as if it's getting cut out very well, but it is, trust me, it is. We've got a curly bit there. Alright, now that the bits are curled and we've got nice curly ends, we're going to curl these bits as well. So just take it down and that's the bit you want to get into your pattern, your pattern of your hair. So mine's is a side shed. I'm just going to brush the top bit. You don't want to brush right through. Right. Now, I'm going to take it from the back and just do random cuddles on random wee sections of hair. Go over it a few times if you don't feel like it's curled enough. Oh, does anyone that's watching this watch Big Brother? What are you thinking of Perez going out? Are you loving that he's left? He got evicted. And who do you think's going to win? I hope it's whoever it is. I hope it's not Katie Hopkins. Although she's not been as nasty in there as she has outside, she's said quite a lot of nasty stuff about Scottish people, ginger people, fat people, unemployed people, Andy that just isn't really her style. So yeah, I think her being nice and Big Brother is all an act. So I'm not falling for it at all. 
us ginger people, us Scottish people, us fat people, we all have to stick together. I hope Katie Price wins. That would be nice. Although I think Katie Price is like really different in there. She's not, it's like not our usual feisty self. Okay, I feel like the front isn't as curled, so I'm just going to curl that. It's the other way, isn't it? Away from my face, bitches. Okay, now before I do this part, like which I would class as my fringe, I'm going to do this side. Okay, I've got big curls at this wee bit. And then for this bit, <laughs> my hand burnt. I'm going to make sure that I get it right because I'm going to curl away from my face. Okay, now with this bit, I'm just going to take the thin bits at the front and curl them also away from my face. Nope, wrong way. It's just trial and error guys, trial and error. And this is towards my face I guess, so I don't actually know what's going on. Okay, now obviously that you have straight uh, curled these curly minxies, you're going to want to put your hair half up and half down. Well, you're not going to want to, but I want to, so I'm going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush my hair back to give it some volume. I'm not going to put it tightly back. I'm just going to take it from about here. And I'm going to do that and then I'm going to tie a big hair bobble around it like so. Okay, and then you're left with your curly bits of hair which I want to curl a bit more so I'm just going to Just to get them a bit more curly. So I really don't understand why it's not shown up really curly on here. Because, like, you know, in real life it's quite curly. I don't know if it's like because my hair's so dark. And it's just all curled together. What's going on? Right, and then you could maybe like add a wee, a wee bow or something in your hair. That would look pretty cute. Just a little bow. Right, 
I think this looks fine. So I'm just going to leave it like so. Um, so obviously you could wear it like this, or again you could wear it down. Like, the only problem with putting your curly bits of hair up is getting the bobble out. So if you're going to wear it down and you're wanting volume in it, in fact I think it looks nicer down, doesn't it? With these wee bits of volume. Um, you'd, probably, sure, you'd probably want to make sure that your hair is more oomphed up, like so. Um, so yes, that would just like give you lovely voluminous curls. You can kind of notice it better like this, can't you, that it's curled. Um, and then just to get your fringe out the way, would take it like so and pull it back there and maybe put a wee curvy grip in it and then like back there or you could also do like a wee ringlet which would be just like not got enough hair to do it a wee grip and then just kind of do that Make it really, really round. Not round, but you know what I mean, like this. And then on your hair, just twirl it around. So then you've got like something that looks like that. Oh, it's not even showing up. Something that looks like that, but on your hair. And then you could probably put like a wee bow or something in it and that would make it look really nice and romantic. Um, but yeah, just whatever you kind of feel like. I always think curls look really nice on Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, and if you're wondering how my hair is so volumised and looking nice, it's down to that shampoo. Um, so yes, oh dear. I've got lipstick all over my teeth. How long has that been there? Throughout the whole video? I seriously hope not. Um, so yes, I am going to go just now. Let me know what you think of my oomphed up hair, curled hair, volumey curl, romantic curl hair down in the comments and I will see you all in my next video.